this Sunday at Lake Park as we read the scriptures appointed for this day. We are also celebrating Father's Day. And this is the weekend before the national holiday on Monday of Juneteenth, when we commemorate the emancipation of all African Americans in our past history and continue to celebrate their culture. This is also a continuation in the month of June uh, that we have Pride Month as we remember all of those who are marginalized and honor them as gifted and created and equal in every way as God has blessed them. And so uh, we thank God this weekend for all of our fathers and father figures and all of our families. And we remember the loss of family members. Many of us have lost our dads. Uh, I, for one, uh, have my father dying just over a year ago. And certainly we remember all of those who are marginalized in our communities and nation, recognizing the hard-fought freedoms they have, but also the work that is yet to do in justice for all. And God is in the middle of it all because he has created us all. He dearly loves us all so much that he sent his son Jesus to be our savior. And he is at the source and foundation of the work of justice and equity for all of us. And so as we look at the scriptures today and as we think of these important topics of the day, let's see God in the middle of it. Let's see where he is at work and how he is at work in and each of us. And I think it begins in the words of Jesus in this Sunday's gospel in Matthew 9, when he says, ask the Lord. So let us ask the Lord. Let us pray for one another. Let us pray that our love and our works of justice will be to his glory and uh, to be a blessing for all around us. God bless us at Lake Park and all our communities and all our nation. Amen.